Hey guys, this is Coffee Chug, and uh, just wanted to make a short video for those that have submitted ornament designs. I've been mailing them out. Uh, I've had about 50, 60 different ornaments submitted. And so I haven't had time to get them all cleaned up like I had first imagined. So just want to explain when you get your ornament, it may not look exactly like you had it designed, but it doesn't mean that you can't get there. And so some of you, just based on your design, gravity doesn't affect it, and so it prints out just fine, and there's nothing to be done to it. Some of you, I had to print with a raft, and a raft is just a horizontal layer, and you can kind of see it on this cube here, um, where just so it, it wouldn't adhere to the, the base plate of the 3D printer, so it kind of gives it a, a case. And so if you have these, these just come right off. If you just kind of pull on them, like so, it pops right off, and you're set, and it's perfect. Okay, so those aren't too hard, you just kind of, find a weak spot corner, and just kind of pry it off, easy to go. Okay, now some of you had different features, so a lot of snowman designs, you can look here, this one doesn't look like a very good looking snowman, I mean the design is good, I don't want to take away from the kid, but you can see all the supports that were printed on there um, to hold that up. So what I recommend is that you get an X-Acto knife or a kind of sharp blade, obviously be very careful as you go through, and what you do is just take your time, and you can kind of pry off some of these and just kind of work through. So you can see on this one, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a snowman arm right here, a little small arm. And this is all support underneath. And so just kind of working through here a little bit, kind of prop these up. All right, sometimes it helps a little small screwdriver too, if you can get right underneath there. And you just kind of pop those off. Okay. So the same here on this face. You just kind of clean that one off. You just got to take your time. Be careful. And I'll usually just come right off with just a little bit of work. All right, now for some reason you break something off, you can just get some super glue um, and super glue it back out or hot glue gun works really well. So if you do work through and you cut off too much or break something, that's what you need to do. Now other if you have these big monsters, well, this one actually is a Really, it's an amazing ornament. It's got bulbs that it kind of works around in a circle. So there's a lot of supports. You see all the support here, support here, here, and up here. So this is just going to take more time. All right. So a couple things. Once you kind of get the, the base going, you can use a different tool. So here's just a small piece of pliers. And you just kind of break these off ever so gently. I mean, it's, it's on there pretty good. But you don't want to break the rings and just got to be real patient and so you can see right here's the ring all right and then when you get closer to that that's when i would use the exacto knife and just kind of cut all the way through okay so it's just going to require a little bit of patience on your part All right, so I will leave the rest of this fun for this particular student to finish. I'll go ahead and knock this off here. But in the end, this ornament is going to be well worth it because it's a really, really sweet design. All right. Now the last thing is some of you wanted more than one color and I just didn't have time to do so. You can use Sharpie and color over these colors. So you can color on these clear, or if you have red, you want to put some green on it. Sharpie works really well if you want to add some different colors to this. So um, just one more thing for you to explore. If you have questions or need help, reach out to me. I hope maybe this video will help you a little bit try to figure out how to get your ornament looking the way that you want it. Thanks, guys.